All right, so today's video is something a little different. I've asked a pro to do the impossible and play by himself against three players of each rank until he loses. What happened during this recording had me in complete awe and disbelief. What I have for you today is one of the most impressive displays of mechanics and skill that I've ever seen in Rocket League. No way he hits this. No way! You're seriously in for an amazing show match. Now, if you haven't heard of Daniel by now, he's one of the most hyped new pro players in recent history who just signed with SSG to replace Sipical. He's coming off his first RLCS event where he stepped up to lead SSG to the grand finals. No for the way. most part, and now oh. look at Daniel do it again! This rookie is absolutely unreal! Now Tars the edge, trying to get the pass back into Reynolds, putting it high, where's Daniel? Daniel? In the tie and send it to overtime, it's in! Oh, yes. What a play! <laughs> Just to remind you, this is the first time he's ever played in RLCS, and he does this. If anyone can complete this challenge, it's him. Now let's get started with the first round where I've combined bronze and silver because bronzes are basically impossible to find these days. Hopefully the silvers can represent them well here in round one. Here we go. Daniel faking the kickoff. You let that bounce. Silver's already representing bronze really well. Daniel takes it up to the ceiling, lines it up and scores an easy goal in 10 seconds. I feel like we're watching a gladiator match. One gladiator versus three unarmed peasants. He's gonna let it hit the ground, fakes out one, waits patiently for the second. Now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. I'd be terrified if I were you. Made an effort, but it's not enough to stop Daniel. Two quick goals for the pro. See if the silvers can respond before Daniel heats up a little bit too much. You know what? I think it might be a little too late already. I mean, what can you do? Nothing if you're a silver. Daniel gathers in his own half. One challenger, gone. Another, gone. A third, gone. He's getting bumped, but he's in complete control. He's just toying with them. He's absolutely toying with them. This is nothing to him. Bumped off the wall, pre-flips into a flip reset. Now what is he going for? The silver's gotta be wondering. It's a ground pinch! A huge ground pinch, 141 KPH from Daniel. Surprising the Silvers. This is already disgusting. What, what was that recovery? No way he touches this. That was unbelievable. The Silver Zone goal! It's five to nothing. This is an absolute beatdown. The contrast between the own goaling Silvers and a complete master at work is just shocking. A triple flip reset attempt from Daniel. Didn't make it though, so obviously he sucks. The flip reset into the musty! Disgusting. Th this is ridiculous, what he's doing here. Now he's just holding the ball, offering the ball to the Silvers, but they still can't score. Daniel takes down the round one opponents. Too easy. But can he do the same to the Golds? They're ready for him. I mean, as ready as you can be. Daniel takes it up high for an air dribble, gets a second touch, gets a third, and just, it looks so easy. Immediate goal for Daniel, under 10 seconds in. Now can Daniel build on it? This is looking interesting, gets one reset, gets a second, gets a triple flip reset. Just thwarted in the end by the goals though. Now avoiding another attacker. He got the full boost, looking dangerous. It's like every attack is a work of art. That's another triple reset attempt. And then the golds are back flipping and whiffing. You know, gets a touch up on the wall and uh, that's all he needs. You know, just a blur on the field, racing around, chasing this ball, keeping it away from the golds. They can barely touch it. Oh, there he does make a misplay though. And maybe the golds have a chance here. No, Daniel thwarts them with zero boost. Little fake on the wall there. It's gonna pop it high. Into a flip reset. Off the backboard, he's got the read. Unbelievable goal from Daniel. My God. He's fully in the zone now. Not much you can do to stop him. What a touch. Backpedaling into the reset. He's got another one, over three golds. 
Unreal touch off the wall. Into the reset and gets it past three of them. You know, I've never felt bad for my video participants, but you just gotta feel for these golds. I mean, this is just a beatdown, but it's really just, it's not fair that they have to play this player. Daniel's got another one. The goals are kind of just starting to blend into each other. Now the gold's pressing well, putting some pressure on Daniel, but he's able to get out so quickly. And now on the counter, Daniel right there on his touch, takes over yet again, grabs the boost. The way he's racing around with the ball, it's like he's on unlimited boost and the golds just have to watch. They bump him there though. They're not going down without a fight. Gotta respect that from the golds. But now here's a full field air dribble that's just gonna go straight in. I mean, they're just not expecting that level of control. Even if you know you're facing a pro, until you actually are on the field with them, you don't realize how much more powerful and controlled their touches are than what you're used to seeing. Now Daniel taking this down to his own net, he's gonna flick it up and the goal's at backflip and they're not able to score on him. Daniel cruises through round two, time for the plats. This should be getting a little more difficult for Daniel, though I would not want to be those guys right now. Ah, there we go. Already a big difference. We had a plat go up, challenge the ball, and now they've got an open net, and they somehow miss it! Oh, heartbreak for the Platinums. That was, that was so plat. That's just, you hate to see it. Now here comes Daniel. The flip reset musty! one nothing, Daniel, and what should have been a goal for the Platts. They've got to be kicking themselves, but what can you do against that? The Platts trying desperately to slow Daniel down, but he's not showing any signs of stopping. Oh, look at this. 2 nothing, Daniel. Now off the kickoff, can the Platts retain control? Nope, they give it right to him. This is not good. Daniel through the air. He's done it again. 3 nothing. The Platts got to stop this bleeding. Daniel is an absolute machine. They have to keep it away from him, but they keep giving him the ball. From his own corner, no way. No way. No way. <laughs> that is filthy. The Platts trying to put some pressure, but anything they do just gets immediately shut down by Daniel. Stop there, but you just get the feeling Daniel's just toying with them, just waiting for an opportunity to go for another insane clip. Picks out one there. They're too slow to challenge him here. Just flicks it high, keeps it away. Now in his back corner. Oh, look at this. Look, no way he hits this. No way! That is unreal! Ah, I'm speechless. I don't think I've ever been so entertained by a game that it was this much of a blowout. Like, this is not close. Another setup incoming, and Daniel finally misses one. The Platts are gonna get a breakaway, and they're gonna get a goal. Nice shot from Daniel <laughs> on that one after getting what is saved. But Daniel cruises through the Platts onto the diamonds. You gotta wonder when the ranks start getting good enough to take full advantage of a 3v1 situation. It hasn't happened yet, but you gotta wonder is this where Daniel falls? Is this attack looks great, but the diamonds save it. That's what we're talking about. We're finally at the rank where we see a little bit of defense, a little bit of resistance to Daniel. What a save though by Daniel on the goal line, takes it out, but it's gonna be an open net for the diamonds and they capitalize. One nothing diamonds, finally. The three take the lead against the pro for the first time in this video. Now Daniel with control, just gonna air dribble it over the entire team. Makes it look easy yet again. Fakes the kickoff, the Diamonds are trying to do something interesting with the kickoff too, but it doesn't quite work. Now with tons of boost off the back corner, Daniel is so threatening from his own half. He just instantly goes from defending to attacking. The Diamonds cannot stop it. Another interesting kickoff, but they've given it right to Daniel. Could be open, Daniel cuts it off just in time. Now again, starting the attack from his back corner. Pre-flips into it, gets, he's gonna get the reset and a powerful shot. No chance the Diamonds are gonna save that. He got the pre-flip to touch the ball in the space and then the flip reset. 
Diamonds with their attack of their own, but the shot is too weak. Now Daniel on the counter. Oh, gets demoed. The ball rolls right to him off the spawn. He's automatic. He's automatic. He does not miss. Four to one now, taking the life out of these diamonds. They're trying some interesting things with the kickoff again, but again, it doesn't work. Now Daniel with full boost. I mean, you gotta wonder, is it over right now? A double flip reset, a triple! He got the triple flip reset! He couldn't do it against the silvers or the golds or the plats, but here against the diamonds, it's almost like the better players have elevated him. He's only gotten better, hitting a triple flip reset on three diamonds. And now surprising them with a quick shot from range. He switched up his attacks. They don't know what to expect at this point from Daniel. The diamonds are gonna get a goal though. Six to two, they're making it, you know, respectable. Daniel doesn't quite get that reset, and it's gonna be another goal for the diamonds. Uh, well, yeah, there we go. Six to three, diamonds keeping it respectable, but Daniel in the end prevails against the diamonds with some incredible goals. Now the biggest challenge so far, three champs. So far we've seen some insane clips, but Daniel hasn't really been quite tested yet. A feeling that's about to change. Right away, they send someone to demo and bump him. That's gonna be, that's gonna be the big difference here. We're gonna get a dedicated bumper, a more coordinated attack. There he gets bumped and that looks like it's gonna be a goal, but Daniel makes an incredible save. How does he save that? Completely bumped out of the play and he still made the save. He's able to get full boost, but he's gonna have to stay in the defensive half. The bumper misses him. Now he could have a counter. But solid defense from the champs. Gets bumped. Still able to keep it out. The battle buzz shoots high. That's a pass, I think. Daniel cuts it off. Another ball turns away by Daniel. Clinging on for dear life. What a read off the back wall. And another read off that back wall. Insane defense from Daniel. Gets demoed, he's just not able to put on a shot yet. He's not gonna get a ton of opportunities. Already half the game gone and Daniel hasn't got a shot off yet. Now there he gets a chance. Finally a shot, but a great save by Pidgey Boy. And now the champs have finally caught Daniel out and scored a great goal. Best goal from the three challengers so far in this video. So now Daniel really on his heels. He's got to defend. He's gotten so few offensive chances. And now he could give up another goal, but he just gets back in time. Only about a minute 30 remaining, and Daniel still has gotten so few opportunities. Now a big booming clear. That's dangerous. That's a tough read for the champ, and Daniel is able to capitalize. One to one. What a game so far. Huge clear by Daniel. He's gonna need those huge touches and that's a bad kickoff. That could be a chance for the champs. They can't quite do it though. Now an opportunity for Daniel. Quick flick, so much power on it. They're not gonna save that. Two to one, Daniel takes the lead. Only a minute remaining now. Champs shut that down and they have a chance. Oh, big miss from Ty squared. But he gets the full boost. Daniel on zero now. Has to jump to get out of the way. And Pigeony Boy flicks Daniel. Two to two, all tied up. What a classic matchup. Daniel versus three champs. I don't know if anyone's ever successfully 3v1 three champs before. What a clear by Pigeony Boy. That might be in. Oh, Daniel makes the save. It's high off the backboard. A shot coming in. Ty Squared can't quite put it on. Daniel regains possession. He doesn't have any boost, though. This is not looking good for Daniel, but he backflips and keeps it out. 20 seconds left. Daniel on low boost. He's getting up pretty far. He gets bumped. But he keeps possession. Now he's got the full. All three champ players are up. Daniel touches it up high. Only eight seconds. He can't keep control. What a save by Wateb. Daniel takes it back now. Again, the champ pushing up. Looking for that game-winning goal with zero seconds. Daniel up high! No way he does this! A oh, huge dunk to win it! A zero second goal for Daniel to win it against the champs! 
from his own backboard, full field. This, this guy is not human. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. This has got to be impossible now. I, I'm quite sure that no one player, no matter how good they are, has ever beaten three grand champions. I don't think anyone's ever beaten two grand champions. Because they, yeah, their mechanics are just too solid. That's actually a beautiful flick from Mike. But yeah, this game is basically a heat check. We gotta, we gotta throw the challenge at him. What can he do against three grand champions? Looks like he's gonna get scored on again. But no, he's able to make the save. Just never gives up on the play. Getting bumped now, still stays alive. But finally the GCs are able to capitalize. And the GCs are spacing out really well. They got one bumper, one on the ball, and one ready for a follow-up. There's another goal for the GCs. Pretty much got this wrapped up. Daniel's still gonna make his best effort though, but nope, they're placed perfectly. It's just not gonna happen. The three challengers take down Daniel. But man, I think we can all agree that was an incredible show match. I mean, what I'm about to say might be kind of controversial, but maybe some of you will agree with me, but I think Daniel is pretty good at Rocket League. <laughs>